Thanks so much for the help. We should be able to manage on our own from here. I'm glad to be of use. If there's anything else you need, come find me anytime. Well, well. You seem to be pretty chummy with the knights. Chummy? I suppose. Really, I was just helping out with some equipment repairs. For an assignment or something? No. It just looked like they could use a hand, so I lit one. To me, it looked like they were using you for some unpaid labor. Unpaid labor? <laughs> I helped them because I wanted to, Happy. I wasn't expecting to be paid. It's like when you help us with our assignments. We don't pay you for that, do we? Like I have a choice. Can I give you some advice, Freckles? Don't support the Knights, the Church, any of them. All you'll get in return is a knife in the back. Isn't that a little... dramatic? You really don't need to worry about that with most people. You're naive. Those two-faced buffoons exasperate me so much I can hardly help but... Oh, uh, uh, hey! That reminds me of a great story. You have to hear this one. It's called, um... Oh! The Luna Knight's Tale. Yeah, I, I think you'll love this. On second thought, maybe a story about a knight isn't what you want to hear right now. You know, the knights in stories aren't like the ones in real life. Unless the Luna Knight is a liar who does terrible things. No, uh, of course not. The Luna Knight is the hero of the story. She's from an offshoot of House Blathet, marries into House Regan after the Crescent Moon War. In peacetime, she sets aside her weapons and devotes herself to giving wise counsel to her husband. In this role, she ensures that the dishonest and unfaithful are dealt with accordingly. Huh. She sounds like a real hero. Very much so, yes. The tale is full of fascinating details about her. Ash, I'm sorry to interrupt, but if you're not too busy, we could really use your help right now. Of course. Be right there. I'll tell you the rest of the tale later, okay, Happy? Um, sure, I guess. But seriously, watch yourself, okay? I don't want you to learn I'm right the hard way. See ya, Freckles. I can hardly wait to hear that riveting story of yours. Using me? I never thought about it that way. Happy! I've been looking everywhere for you. What's going on? Something urgent? Oh, no. <laughs> but I promised to tell you the rest of the Luna Knight's tale, remember? Huh. I've forgotten all about that. If you really want to tell the story that badly, I guess just go ahead. Okay, I will. Do you remember where I left off? Hmm. Well, you were telling me something about how the Luna Knight was hard on liars and cheaters. Right. So her husband, Duke Regan, turns out to be a bit of a libertine. <laughs> That's hilarious. My favorite part was when she caught her husband in the act and tossed him out the window. I thought tales about knights were supposed to be straight-laced, but this one's raunchy as heck. I'm uh, glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Usually these tales are pretty serious. But sometimes in a serious story, you need lighter moments like that to connect to the characters. It helps to see that even these great heroes made mistakes now and again. Just like us. You're so trusting, Freckles. For some reason, I find it endearing. But you shouldn't take something at face value just because it's written down. The truth is, knights do plenty of things that aren't heroic at all. Things that hurt people. You're not wrong. Some knights do terrible things. That doesn't make the great ones any less worthy of honor, though. What about knights who have died taking a stand against the church? Would you call them great? That's... complicated. Or what about the knights who put me in abyss, promising to release me from my curse? When they couldn't, they left me there out of fear for what I might do. Does that sound honorable to you? Happy... I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry... I can't help but say nasty things. Got any more stories for me? Maybe another racy one? Uh, yes, actually. I came prepared with the most... Uh, racy ones I could find, in case you happen to ask. Of course you did. Let's hear one then. This is why I keep telling people we need to keep her underground. It's a miracle that no one was hurt. 
Next time, we may not be so lucky. What makes you so certain this incident was caused by her sighing? It seems unfair to cast blame until you're truly sure. Isn't it obvious? A horde of monsters appeared out of nowhere and attacked us. Uh-oh. You guys are talking about me, aren't you? There you are. You won't get away with this crime. I'll make sure everyone knows who was to blame. Hey! You didn't answer my question! He doesn't care what we have to say. Forget about it. No! You told me you had nothing to do with this. I can't just leave it alone. Yes, you can. And you don't need to worry about it. But I do! What if they pressured you into confessing something you hadn't actually done? They mean well, but they seem to think they have good reasons to suspect you. Those suspicions could lead to forceful questioning. They'll do anything to get to the bottom of this. You're probably right. If he has his way, they'll do whatever they can to pin it on me. What about you? There isn't some part of you that agrees with that creep? No. I know you don't sigh unless you absolutely can't help it. You would never endanger people like that unless something pushed you over the edge. I know this wasn't your fault. You said as much, and I believe you. That's sweet. But unfortunately, your conviction isn't good for much on its own. We have no proof. Then we'll find proof. If you didn't cause it, then something else did. We just have to find out what. I'll investigate the site where we were attacked. There could be a monster nest nearby. You're so darn trusting, Freckles. For all you know, I could be lying. Your commitment to honesty is as strong as mine. You'd never turn your back on our common bond. <laughs> You're just like the Luna Knight. Hey, come on. I was being serious. Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, I promise. I guess part of me was hoping to meet one of those storybook heroes. Now I finally have. If that's how you feel, then I'm going to live up to it. I'll do my best to make sure you never sigh again. <laughs>